Okay, Catherine, uh, this is amazing. Wow, you've got some control. Wow, this is super impressive. This is not easy <laughs> at all, let alone doing it eight times. So this is fantastic. I love the sketches. Um, I've got a question. It, now you're obviously talented. I'm wondering if you're going to sketch your own Alphonse Mucha-esque type artwork for this piece. And I'm wondering if, if that might be a feasible way to go. The only reason I say that is because if you, if you use an Alphonse Mucha piece, that's great. You're incorporating text with image. That's fantastic. It's a wonderful way to show intent and to show um, that you understand how to, to combine type with image. Meaning in the end run, it's going to be a good portfolio piece. Now, if you use your own artwork in this, it's going to take it to the next level. Because imagine yourself sitting in front of an interviewer and you're talking about this piece and you're able to say, oh, that's my work. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, yeah, that's an Alphonse Mucha piece and I, and I place this type over it. So I'm not saying you have to go that direction. It's just food for thought. So um, the one thing I do want to, I, you can go any way you want here. Any, any one of these is going to work just beautifully. Now, the one question or comment that I have is this. Um, now, when we look at a lot of Mucha work, or actually a lot of Art Nouveau work for that matter, there's the type is kind of incorporated in to the composition. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, let's try to find some. Um, well, I mean, Gizmondo would, of course, uh, uh, well, that's not the piece, but trying to find some Mucha pieces with type, okay? See how the type is typically, it's incorporated into the actual illustration. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a great example right here. Okay, Monaco, Monte Carlo, if you want to take a look at that print. And then you can see how the, the, the type is just incorporated. Why do I bring this up? I bring this up because right now yours is kind of just pasted over the illustration. Um, and that could be an issue. I, I really think that could be an issue. I don't know. It might work. It might not. It's, it, we're going to have to work that out when you're moving to the digital stage and into your comps. But um, keep that in mind, okay? You don't want this to look like it's been plastered over this these gorgeous illustrations. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, if you can work them in somehow, which is really, really tough with Art Nouveau because of all of the organic curvilinear shapes and form, all the fleur-de-lis and everything else that comes along with, with Art Nouveau, sometimes it might be kind of tough to incorporate that type in there. But um, food for thought, work on it, think about it. Uh, entertain the thought, as it were. And, and, uh, and I'm just really, really super looking forward to seeing where this is going. I, there's something I would also recommend that I'm seeing in your type. And, and again, think about it when you're, when you're working on it. So we're going to have to see how this type looks digitally. It, we might have to change the typeface because it's a long quote and it's, there's a lot to read here. So legibility is going to be an issue um, or it, not an issue. It's going to be a concern. So um, we're also going to take a look at this center aligning. I, I don't think that center aligning is, is quite going to work. But again, try it. Let me know what you think. All right. Fantastic job, Catherine. Thank you so much.